John, consciousness seems like the most obvious thing in the world. We all know what it is. We all have it. But why is it so mysterious? Well, there are several reasons. Um, I guess uh, the most important is that we have a certain conception of reality that's largely derived from the progress of the sciences over the past three centuries. And we think that ultimately reality must be material. And then we find, my gosh, we're all conscious. We all have this inner qualitative subjective stuff, and that seems mysterious. And then I, another thing that makes it seem mysterious is we have this a terrific a religious philosophical tradition that says reality divides into two. There's the mind and the body. There's the soul and the flesh. I, 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 and this makes it seem like, well, there must be these two different realms. And then we got another hassle. We can't see how, how are we going to reduce uh, the consciousness in the way that we reduced all the other things. Material objects reduced to molecules. Colors reduced to light reflectances. But consciousness, if it's qualitative and subjective and it only exists when it's felt, then how do you do a reduction of that? Yeah. Materialism says, in, at bottom, consciousness doesn't really exist. It's an illusion. Uh, everything is material, third person. And that's obviously false because we know in, from each of our own cases, from our own experience, that consciousness exists. Now, dualism, which says, no, they're two separate and distinct realms, uh, dualism is in worse shape in a way than materialism because it hardly gets up to the level of being false. It's incoherent. So I've suggested, look, forget about dualism, forget about materialism, and there's a way out of this conundrum. All right, help me. Where, okay, where, here's where? how it goes. Start off with what you know for a fact. Now, you know for a fact that you're conscious. Consciousness is real and irreducible. You can't get rid of it. Now, the second thing to remember, and this we've only come to know in the past couple centuries, all of my conscious states and all of your conscious states are caused by neuronal processes in the brain. And then third, consciousness is something that goes on in the brain. It is a feature or state or process going on in the brain. It's not mysterious. It is spatially localized. And finally, we know that uh, conscious states actually function causally. So if you take those four, it's real and irreducible, caused by brain processes, exists in the brain, and functions causally, then your problem is not to have a puzzle about consciousness, but to show what was mistaken about these other views. The key to this whole approach that I'm urging is we have to think of consciousness as a biological phenomenon. It's as much a part of human and animal biology as digestion or photosynthesis or the secretion of bile or mitosis. We're talking about human biology here, human and animal biology. Uh, the, the main difference, at least at our present state of knowledge, is we have a better understanding of digestion than we do of consciousness. The brain is a tough nut to crack.